Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other. Ah. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Cecilia and I post fragrance related content on this platform, particularly Middle Eastern fragrances. And I do post back to back videos, guys. So if you're new and you're not subscribed, but you like that kind of content, please uh, do make sure to click the red subscribe button and join the family. And to those who are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. Also note, I do have a second YouTube channel called C Chronicles Unscripted. I created that channel, guys, to focus mostly on Western fragrance reviews uh, because we don't feature a lot of them on this channel, as well as vlogs, which is my life outside fragrance reviews. To get to that channel, all you need to do is go onto the description of this one where you will see two links. One link is going to take you to see Chronicles Unscripted and a second link is going to be a PayPal donate link in case you want to donate anything at all towards the purchases of fragrances on this channel because this channel relies only on AdSense for review. Now, welcome to today's video uh, i do have kahia pistachio uh, from paris corner now disclaimer this is not first impressions uh if you watched the uh haul where i presented this fragrance they actually mailed two instead of one so one i gave to my daughter and she's been using the heck out of that fragrance so i know how that fragrance smells but when i tried to uh get into her bedroom she's in school at the moment uh it's locked so i'm forced to open a second one i would have wanted to gift this one to somebody unopened but because i am you know in a uh you know perfume review kind of mood i would rather just review my fragrances back to back than you know wait and then have her come back and open her room and stuff so this is going to be an unboxing but it's not a first impressions okay so kahia pistachio from the house of paris corner is a fragrance inspired uh by young pistachio gelato uh by kali uh the good thing about this one is the bottle is intact if you noticed or if you watched my save or splurge i showed you the bottle that Mima has it's fallen apart the gold thing is coming off and stuff so anyway let's spray it in its box and i'm going to tell you my thoughts the dna has been uh, you know attempted by a lot of houses latafa have got their own uh what's the name of the latafa one um affection affection okay and then this one is from paris corner now the opening of this guys is going to be a distinct greenness of the pistachio this and i'm going to be comparing it a little bit with the original because i do have the original so if i'm referring to the original it's not a comparison as such but i am forced you know to kind of pull the differences there just to make it clear especially for those who want to know whether they need this one or the latafa one or they need the original okay so i get a distinct pistachio in this one that i do get from the original uh by this i mean there is like a prominent greenness uh of that nutty pistachio uh if you love pistachio as a nut you will know that it doesn't interpret exactly as outright creamy there is a piercing greenness that you get with the pistachio nuts especially if you take them and you just put them to your nose there and roast it especially you will get like a distinct greenness it is quite prominent in this and in that green uh feel of it of course there's going to be a nutty tone there of the pistachio itself but i think it's heightened mostly by the hazelnut uh, because remember that the pistachio will present more as green than it is very nutty but there is that nutty thing that then you know joins into the mix and i believe this is is coming from the uh, that uh, second nuttiness will be coming from the hazelnut so it becomes a wrap up of a nutty top right there's, there's also a pronounced sweetness to this fragrance uh it just interprets as like a heightened feel of the real thing where yes the real thing is very sweet but i think there is a tad bit sweetness in this one like it's kind of pushing it a little bit there in terms of sweetness and it does have a pronounced rum there so i think the notes in here or not i think the notes in here seem to be a little bit uh, amped up a little bit amped up i think it was maybe a deliberate attempt uh by paris corner to make sure that theirs out does the other ones i don't know i get like a heightened a uh, feel of everything in here uh but then again i can say the same for affection i think affection by latafa is also quite sweet there uh quite sweet almost at the same in the same vein as this but i get like a ted uh, a fragrance that's doing a little bit more uh, than the original there in terms of the sweetness in terms of its pronounced a uh, feel of that pistachio as well as the rum that and rum note is so pronounced to an extent that it does put a boozy accord to this fragrance uh not boozy as in drunken but you are gonna identify something there that feels 
a little bit boozy and it is there during the entire way all this fragrance it is also one heavyweight uh fragrance uh my daughter has been wearing this a lot if you notice the video where we did uh you know the side by side it was almost like uh almost on this level already because she's been spraying the heck out of this fragrance and i can talk about the longevity for this fragrance and the sillage and the projection in the sense that every time she's weaving about the house she kind of leaves a trail you know this fragrance to a point that kind of felt as though i'm wearing it with her if you know what i mean so there is a heightened feel to this fragrance a pronounced feel of everything it's uh, going to have a massive sillage and it's going to project a lot to an extent it is even room filling it's one fragrance that when she sprays in the morning to go to school comes back around two or somewhere thereabout i can still you know smell it on her so it is also a long lasting uh, fragrance to an extent of course she's a heavy uh, sprayer but i'm gonna say it is quite long lasting uh, as opposed to what i was getting from yum pistachio uh, yum pistachio is long lasting but I didn't get it offset like how this one is barely three weeks in my collection and I'm already you know can and I can already attest that it is quite thick there uh, and quite heavy in its presentation of everything right cotton candy the use of the sugar there uh, the marshmallow everything sugary there to an extent that is going to give you a sugar punch it's, it's something that's going to hit you there right there on your chest it's going to be either a love or hate for some people it's the fact that the sweetness is a little bit amplified they open sweet uh, but that it gets sweeter and sweeter and sweeter and it also has the inclusion of that tonka you know that ties uh you know everything together there to give it like, of course that uh, longevity the tonka and the rum doing the most there so if you love you know that uh, style of fragrance you're definitely gonna love this the uh, dry down of this maintains it's quite linear what you smell in the beginning is just gonna carry over with just maybe those two protruding notes there that rum note well three uh, that rum note that uh, sweet tone of it as well as the pistachio uh, then uh, in that same dry down there's gonna be a lingering woody tone just a slight lingering woody tone possibly bouncing off the woods or that rum and uh, in terms of season i think this one can hold its own all year round for some it might actually uh turn out to be some, a fragrance that's doing the most in the heat so uh, in terms of uh weather i'm going to say cooler weather uh even winter but of course if you love heightened sweet fragrances then you're gonna wear this even in the blazing heat and then gender uh the greenness makes it somewhat a little bit safe uh, for men to wear but remember that greenness is carrying a sugared tone so if you're a man you don't mind fragrances that are overly sweetened you are going to be okay with it uh if you am a man who loves men's men type of fragrances you know like the masculine masculine type of fragrances uh you might find this one maybe leaning feminine and uh, by feminine i'm going to put it at a percentage of about 70 percent okay if you're a man you love the smell of pistachio you don't mind smelling like that uh the whole day you love a nutty you know undertone in a fragrance you're gonna get it from here it's not so much of the ice cream but more of that green leaning pistachio even a little bit aromatic now in terms of which one i would advise to purchase if you were undecided whether you need this one or affection or the original thing i always say if you've got the money go for the original thing okay if you've got the money if you don't uh it's going to be an issue of price i don't see like a, a huge difference between this one and affection so it's going to be an issue of price if the latafa affection one is more affordable to you then go for that one it's going to be also an issue of accessibility if you can get your hands on the paris corner ones wherever you are and they're affordable i'm going to say get this one so it's just going to depend be dependent on preference really and price but the DNAs don't stray like a mile from each other, okay? If you wore either, nobody will be able to tell the difference. See, Chronicles is my name. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's meet in the comment section, guys. We will obviously discuss more about fragrances. Let me know your thoughts on Kahir, uh, Pistachio. Um, if I get the Kisa, I will bring it here. I'm also waiting for the Fusion because that is the clone for uh, the sparkling lychee but i haven't gotten my nose on sparkling lychee so uh, if i get the fusion before i get my nose on sparkling lychee then i'm just going to bring it to you as is you know the way i feel it let's meet in the comment section where we'll obviously discuss more about fragrances do remember to turn on post notifications on both my channels that way you get to be notified guys anytime i upload a video meanwhile like and share this one and remember that smelling good is a form of good manners Cheers.